A new report alleges the NFL ignored warnings from the federal government about improperly prescribing painkillers to players. Hundreds of those players and the widow of a former Raven are suing the league, and their case is now drawing concern from Congress. WJZ investigator Mike Kelgren with the league's response and how the Ravens play into the controversy. The NFL has come out fighting against the lawsuit obtained by WJZ that says teams, including the Ravens, allowed doctors and trainers to abuse painkillers and anti-inflammatory drugs to keep players on the field. And a new Washington Post report alleges the league brushed off warnings from the Drug Enforcement Agency. People Baltimore lawyer Steve Silverman represents the players. Wow. I, you know, now that I can see it in black and white, um, there's no workplace in America that pumps their employees full of narcotics. Chuck Evans is among the former Ravens named in the suit. He died an addict. His wife, a plaintiff, alleges he got Vicodin and Percocet from the team without a proper prescription. Eugene Monroe describes Ravens lining up to get injected with the painkiller Toradol to get through games. I've taken Vicodin. I've taken Oxycodone. Those pills, they changed who I was during the time that I took them. One former Raven who became addicted to painkillers says he does not blame the league or the team. At my worst, I was taking 800 pills a month. And my tolerance level when I left the NFL was extremely high. So when I did have, you know, problems with my neck and my back, what you would take one Vicodin, I needed four Vicodin. Jeremy Newberry, who played for San Francisco, says the amount of drugs his team doctors gave him caused kidney failure. Some games, I'm taking two or three Vicodin before the game, two or three Vicodin at halftime, taking a shot of Toradol before the game. The NFL calls the lawsuit meritless, and in a new statement to several members of Congress, which WJZ also obtained, calls its doctors world class and in full compliance with federal law. There are 1,800 plaintiffs in the lawsuit against the league. At MNT Bank Stadium, Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. And you can read the portion of the lawsuit dealing with the Ravens and the NFL's response right now in the local news section of CBSBaltimore.com.